The module's enhanced teleport system allows for creators to easily create teleport locations for their missions. To use, place down an object you wish to be a teleporter location. In this example, we will use a flagpole, but you can use any static object or vehicle you desire. Next, sync the object to a new register teleporter module and edit the attributes to your wishes. The name attribute is the display name of the teleporter location in the teleporter menu. If a duplicate name is found already in the registry, it will add a numbered suffix to the name. The side attribute is what side will be able to use this teleporter location. If you would like multiple sides to use this location, synchronize an additional new register teleporter module, making sure that the name attributes are different. The bi-directional attribute determines if this teleporter location can be used after it has been traveled to. A unidirectional teleporter will not have access to the teleport menu after the player travels to its location. This is per player, not global. The travel time attribute is how long it will take to travel to this location from any registered location. If using negative one, the travel time will be calculated based on the distance of the start and destination teleporters. With those steps completed, you are now ready to play your mission. Let's take a look at what this looks like in game. When the travel menu appears, you will be given your current grid, a list of available locations and a set of information about each location relative to your current location. The view on map option allows you to preview on the map your current location relative to your potential destination. This is an animated process, so inputs will be disabled until completed. When you have selected your desired location, simply select OK to begin travel. That's it. We look forward to seeing what you creators come up with utilizing these teleporters. Remember to report any bugs or issues to the GitHub. Now get out there and start creating.